I suppose what I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to look for the unusual pictures that that you find on the day. Um, I remember once somebody coming in a few years ago and they, they, they saw about the fourth or the fifth picture on the website and they said that's what decided them. It was, it was a picture of their father crying his eyes out, but with the bride and groom in the foreground. And um, sometimes it's just one picture that can con convince people to, uh, to, to book you. I was uh, I did a wedding a few years ago and, and um, <clears throat> bumped into the one of the guys that was at the wedding. And uh, it was about three months afterwards, and he'd just been to see this uh, been to see this couple. And uh, he said to me, you know, on the day when you were there, he said it, it didn't seem like you were you were actually doing anything. He said you were going around, you were chatting to people, you were just almost joining in as, as one of the guests. And then he'd been to see the album, and he said. Then once I seen the album, I could see what you were trying to do. You, uh, it, it, some of the pictures that that you'd got on the day were the moments that people hadn't actually seen, and that was the that was the sort of thing that he was more impressed with. But what was, to me, what was quite interesting was the fact that he thought it was. It, it was almost like a. Um, it was almost like a, a duck. You know, it was a calm on the, on the top, underneath. Everything was panicking underneath, and, and everything was going mad. And, and I think that's the way you try and give this impression of you're shooting it, you're getting all the images, um, and then you're putting it together. When you put the album together, you're putting together a story of how that day's unfolded. <laughs> 